Yeah, because Greek is like one of the... See, Greek is, an, is another advocate for this game. This man has been talking this game up. He's He's been very vocal about a lot of stuff when it comes to this game, both good and bad. So, like, if there's some bad stuff going on with the game, he's going to speak up. Good stuff he's going to he's going to signal boost and let people know about. But, yeah, he's definitely one of the people I've been, I've been like, looking to when it comes to this game. So, obviously, yeah, get this dude his followers, please. So, if you ain't following my boy King Greek, please do. So, I put this clip at the beginning of this video for two very important reasons, right? The first one being that it still honestly shocks me when i come across people that genuinely enjoy my content and like speak not even highly but speak decently of me because i'm just a guy that's on here simply speaking my mind speaking how i feel about games that i enjoy both good or bad and coming across these kinds of people is always a shock to me i ran uh, i randomly jumped into my man's cheesecake stream last night after a raid from lejeune this was unwarranted by the way i said nothing to warrant this i just hopped in the chat i was like what's up boom he hit me with that all love to cheesecake thank you very much for feeling the way that you do about me and i appreciate you now the second reason i laughed out loud when he finished talking and the reason for that being is because he's saying this and it's funny to me because nobody else knew unless you watched my stream yesterday that i was about to tear into this game today and that's what the purpose of this video is i got some shit to say so let's get into it what's up everybody welcome back to the channel hopefully you're having a very blessed and wonderful day today's video is going to be a bit different because oh i got some stuff to get off my chest and then it's about season one's build structure build and loot structure uh as honestly as i can say this while still being respectful because trust me i want to lash out about this so badly but for all of my long time viewers that's not the way i do things here on the channel y'all know that right i always give my opinion and i give it as fairly and respectfully as i can because if i lash out right now i'm gonna be honest this is gonna switch from fair judgment and criticism to me just dunking on this game because that's how upset i am and i don't want to do that i want to speak fairly now i hate how this season is being handled and i think some of this stuff definitely could have been done better let's start with last season because it's actually very important here so last season right we had good gear we had bad gear we had great gear we had uh weapons that would help you out with getting grenades we had weapons that would what toss enemies up in the air in slow motion it was good for slow motion decks we had stacked deck weapons which are something that everybody was going for at a certain point not because of the damage but just because of how strong that the effect was that came with the stacked deck weapons we had four afflictions and the strongest one was diablo blaze after well before that got nerfed into oblivion because of a bug that made his damage scale infinitely and then after that craze proceeded to take the spotlight as the overall strongest affliction plus the fact that season zero was bane season meaning that we had a ton of gear from bane to support using that affliction and after the patch that fixed enemy health scaling was released more and more builds became viable in the higher mastery levels which was a decent sign because the floor was opened up for more build diversity which is what rocksteady says that they want us to do they want to they want us to experiment with new builds and see what kind of powerful wacky weird and wonderful combinations we can make right now we enter season one and everything i just told y'all doesn't matter anymore none of it absolutely nothing season one renders everything if not damn near everything that we spent all last season working on useless and here's why so under the impression of a game master kind of situation right brainiac was essentially watching everything that we were doing last season and taking notes on what to improve in order to help counter in the fight against us which is what led to the creation of the new modifiers that i'm about to show you now in a story aspect i understand that again this was done because it's like a game master changing the rules to spice up the gameplay but in actuality uh yeah these modifiers are horrible and they have season zero modifiers beat by a long shot let's go ahead and read through what they are all new me there is a hundred percent chance that the, that an enemy will return to full health instead of dying unless suffering from a poison effect this can only trigger once per enemy counters critical counters shield harvesting and suicide strikes will move this mutator from the enemy 
So basically every enemy has the ability of coming back to life unless you do one of these four things to remove this modifier from them, which is very annoying for bills that deal around having to uh, d uh, make distance with the enemies, right? Because you kind of have to get close to certain stuff. Now, emergency meeting. When enemies are within 15 meters of two or more enemies, they gradually regenerate their health five seconds after taking any damage, suffering from the poison condition that gets this healing effect. Enemy Lantern Shields. Enemies are highly resistant to player damage until their construct shield is broken. Crazing, countering, shield harvesting, or poisoning the enemy breaks their shield. Here's the issue I have with this because I actually tested this last night. For one, uh, the wording is also wrong here. It's not just sh uh, shield harvesting, it's melee in general. Melee can break the Lantern Shields, and for Suicide Strikes, they can break the shield, but only if they die from using the move. If they can tank it, however, they will keep the shield. And I have footage of this happening. Craze is 100% useless now, and it's worse than burnt after the nerf, and I will explain that in just a second. Pain Suppression. Enemies take 95% less damage from all sources. If the enemy is suffering from a poison effect, they instead take 100% more damage. Share the pain. Enemies take 50% more damage from critical hits, but critical hits hurt you for 2% of your maximum shield. Craze immunity. Enemies are immune to venom frenzy. All right, so starting with the last one I just named, right? This is what I meant earlier when I said that Craze is 100% useless now. Lantern Shields are annoying. And yes, they do have four counters in order to get rid of that shield. But one of the counters literally gets rendered useless after mastery level 13, which is crazy because again, I'm going to repeat it. Crazing, countering, shield harvesting, or poisoning are the only ways to break that shield. Now, even if what's the word i'm looking for even if craze let's say if craze didn't have immunity let's say if craze was able to break the shields because it is the effects of craze still won't go off because they're immune to it so there's no point in having craze on your build now my harley build which is centered around that affliction is one of the anchors of that build is completely useless now and for the people saying, oh, you can just shoot through the shield because you can still get damage off or anything like that. I need you to understand this. That's going to become the thing to not do very quickly. They take 95% less damage from all sources. They regen health and they can cheat death. At a certain point, you're going to run out of ammo because those shields absorb a lot of damage and you're not going to be you're not going to get anywhere. And some enemies like the grunts, for example, that like to die bomb you, they already have a, a, a shield prior to the lantern shield. So that's two shields you got to deal with. And yes, I understand countering them does get does get rid of it, but just shooting them won't cut it in the higher levels. It's going to get you killed. Actually, I very much would suggest some people to stop thinking that way, because trust me, once you get to the higher levels, that just shooting is not going to work out for you. That is a gear. It's not even a promise. It's a guarantee. And craze craze isn't even the only problem here. Right. All of the other bills and afflictions are down bad as well. Craze is just the only one that's rendered completely useless. And it even has a second nerf that's tied to the open world stuff, which is Craze lasts for 50% less time on all enemies. So it's not even worth using outside of incursions. Uh, what's the issue with burn? Yeah, burn is still pretty much weaker than what it was before the prior nerf that it had. And in the open world, enemies take 50% less damage from burn, which means that in the open world, burn is useless just as much as craze is not not more but just as much also it kind of puts joker in a weird spot right because here's the thing parts of his kit focuses on the burn affliction parts of his kit focuses on doing crazy damage with an affliction that was nerfed into oblivion the season beforehand tell me what kind of sense does that make it's literally right it's like <sighs> you nerf an affliction into high hell the next season comes with a character that literally has a specialization for that same affliction. And my thing is this, did burn need to be nerfed? Yes. Did it need to be nerfed as hard as it did? No. Is that decision is right next to them making craze a counter for lantern shields this season, but then making it so that all enemies are immune to craze so that even if 
you run craze to break the shield it's it, it's useless after that because breaking the shield is the only thing you can't do none of its effects are going to go off it's worse than what the burn nerf was last season deep freeze is still where it's at because even though it will go off and freeze all enemies it still doesn't break that lantern shield so it's going to be harder to break them while frozen and while live wire does help with uh critical hits still won't tear through that lantern shield or combat the other modifiers the other builds start slowly getting phased out early on like again mastery level 13 until they're just rendered fully useless which brings me to my next problem poison now we're being forced to make poison builds or at the very least have it in our builds to some extent because without poison not only is it going to take longer to kill enemies due to all of these other modifiers which are being suppressed by 90 your build is being suppressed by 95 percent i understand that this was done in a sense of they want to make it so that poison is the forefront of this season which is understandable because you know it's scarecrow it's poison episode one that's what they want to do they want to get more people interested in using it kind of you know help fight against power creep situations and help shake up the meta in healthy ways however what happened is not that they've killed the meta and made poison the only thing that's worth a damn like i'm not joking when i say that this gun right here i'm gonna put it up on screen this gun right here dr poison's maru 2 injector is quite possibly one of if not the most important weapon that you're gonna need this season simply just because of what it does forget the damage simply because of what it does regular fire poisons enemies you don't even have to use the all i'm not even gonna read what the alt text says because you don't even really need that that's just some extra oomph to it but the basic fire the gun's basic fire applies poison on every hit right my problem is this the developers say that they want us to experiment with different builds and try new combinations and mix things up that's 100 okay i can respect that but how can you expect us to do this when you kill two afflictions within two seasons and then you essentially tell us that almost every build that we worked on last season in order to prepare for this season can't even operate at half at half his strength anymore unless poison is in the mix if anything you have given oh my god look if anything you could have given buffing modifiers to people who chose to use poison just to make other people want to check them out that right there that's positive reinforcement like hey for example hey if you decide to use poison you'll have a 50 percent chance to make all enemies within 10 meters become shield harvestable if they're killed while afflicted with poison but no instead we're restricting builds like we're getting build restricted and we're being forced to follow the meta the game is basically telling us hey if you want to have fun you got to do it on our terms rocksteady continues to say that they want to see different builds come up in the meta but then they go and not only completely kill an affliction but they also make it so that only one affliction is viable at all because in the higher mastery levels trust me when i tell you this this is worse than how it would remember last season remember last season when we were saying uh around mastery 55 right around 55 to 60 burn is going burn is the only affliction that matters because burn scales with the health and that's the only thing that can really do damage then we got the patch that made it so that the other builds are viable but this is a completely different case like literally this is worse than the burn scaling situation nothing but poison is viable absolutely nothing i know for me content wise i'm not doing no build videos and nothing like that because everything requires poison to some extent and that ruins some build ideas that i had like for example i had a, but i had a i had an awesome penguin deep freeze build that i've been working on in silent for a hot minute i had a live wire build planned around dead shot and merlin's new weapons because of the whole critical hit thing it can't work now like we don't have a choice anymore i can go back to season zero and do that stuff yeah but the whole point i've i've been doing that stuff for like what two months now the whole point of the new content is that i want to play the new content i want to go to season one but i can't do that because in season one we don't have a choice anymore it's poison or it's nothing and i'm hearing people say oh you can do this and you can do that this season gave us some good gear man just gotta have a bit more faith that's not it that's not it at all poisoning every single enemy every time which is 100 percent mandatory by uh, by the way a higher masteries and that's going to kick in early around mastery eight with the lantern shield coming into play and then all of our previous bills being rendered useless it's the problem 
I keep hearing stuff like, oh, but we have shore harvest bills and grenade bills that we like that we can work on. We have all of that stuff. We got grenade suicide strike bills. This and that. We're just overthinking it because we're upset. No, fuck that. Everything that I'm seeing and hearing all comes back to the main issue is people keeps forgetting it's poison. Yes, we do have a ton of ways to spread this application around, but you're still bottlenecked into using poison for various reasons. The two main reasons are that again, without poison in your kit, your damage is getting cut by 95% and you cannot tear through the and you can't tear through those lantern shields without the risk of dying. Because craze, craze is useless. You're now running poison, which means you have to either get in close for a melee hit slash shield harvest, or you have to wait and counter one of the options you have to get in close and the second and the second option can easily get you sniped while you're trying to counter people we're being pigeonholed into running this affliction and it's bad because this seems to be the blueprint for future seasons as well i, I haven't even really talked about the other issues that i have with episode one like for example me losing gear because the game thinks my inventory is full and it's not or they're basically being what no story outside of two cutscenes, and i'm like i know i'm legitimately no the inventory that i'm le legitimately losing gear i will go I will, i'm gonna go and do an incursion i finish it i get to the reward screen they tell me my inventory is full and the gear that i got is being sent to my mail i go check my mail guess what gear ain't there so i literally just lose that gear this was not a great start for season one. And to quote my man Trix, Trix ridiculous. People are not going to enjoy grinding incursions with how bad these modifiers are. And episode two of season one is like what? A month or a month and a half away? So we literally just have to deal with this if we're going to play it. But I will tell you this. I'm not happy. I'm far from it. And as always, when it comes to this stuff, we're like regardless of who I am, the people you think I know, the friends you think I have, the connections because this i like that there's a reason for why i'm saying this if you i'm not gonna explain it but if you know you know regardless of whatever my situation is you're gonna get my honest opinion good or bad but as respectfully as i possibly can you're gonna get my honest opinion i'm a simple man and i enjoy a lot of things but i see no issues calling out the bull when i see it in season one uh season one is a two-pack of ass for me so no not season one episode one episode one is a hot two pack of ass for me i have so many issues <laughs> it's not even fun joker is the only saving grace i gave this in my last video like when i read it this season uh when i read it this episode i gave it a six out of ten that 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 six is all joker that six is completely joker that man is carrying this episode for me Outside of that, I do not care for it in the slightest. But this video is actually going on a bit longer than I initially wanted to. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to cut it here. This was more so me just getting this stuff off my chest because I'm not happy with it. Let me know down in the comments below if whether or not. Well, hopefully you've all enjoyed the video. But let me know down in the comments below if you feel the same way I do. How do you feel about the modifiers this season? The gear craze pretty much just being immune. All of like the bill restrictions that we're being hit uh, with now. And again, if you've enjoyed the video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And smack that notification bell so you won't ever miss out on any of my future Suicide Squad related content. And I will catch y'all in the moonlight. Peace.